On the Health Watch tonight, and many women love wearing high heels, including <laughs> you, Ruta Bay. But can wearing them lead to problems, osteoarthritis of the big toe, for example? Until recently, the only solution in the U.S. was a surgery that fused together two bones and left patients without flexibility in that big toe. But as CBS 4's Don Champion reports, a new implant is offering a better alternative. Kimberly Reidmeyer stays active, but the pain from osteoarthritis in her big toe made things difficult at home and work. I would take off my shoes and just almost cry on the way to my car because it hurt so bad. Until recently, her only option was surgery that would have left her without motion in her toe and a long recovery. Then Kimberly's doctor told her about a new FDA-approved procedure using the Cartiva implant. It's synthetic cartilage that's made of the same material as contact lenses and inserted in joints. Dr. John Early with Texas Orthopedic Associates says it acts as a shock absorber. It attracts water, so it has a slippery feel to it. So it allows things to move freely. Which means patients don't lose toe motion and can even put weight on it almost immediately. A lot of happy patients. They are thrilled about the motion. They get a significant decrease in the moving pain directly after surgery. The implant is currently approved in the U.S. for the big toe, but doctors in Europe are also using it in patients suffering arthritis and other small joints in the hand and foot. It's been a decision I've never regretted at all. Kimberly returned to her active lifestyle pain-free just days after her surgery. Don Champion, CBS 4 News. That surgery usually takes about 30 minutes. A Canadian study shows the implant has a 91% success rate in reducing pain and improving motion.